Hey everybody and welcome back to Real Reviews Australia. I'm Luke Raisbeck. Now today we are still going on about our favourite little drone, the Delta Drone from Kaiser Bass. We love this little drone and it seems so does JB Hi-Fi because right now they've dropped the price by $100. It's only $6.99 for your first drone. Drone, radio, gimbal, the whole kit ready to go and get you in the air with your first experience into the world of drones. For $6.99, you can't beat that. So today, what we'd like to talk about though, is the modifications that we've made to our Delta drone. Now, as some of you may know, we've been waiting on our gimbal from Kaiser Bass because unfortunately, they didn't have any in the factory. They're that popular. So we couldn't wait. We had to have a gimbal attached to our Delta drone for flying. So I took a look at it and I thought, we can use the Walkira G2D gimbal quite easily. And a few people have asked how we did it. So today, we're gonna to show you how. Underneath, you'll notice that we've got a gimbal. Now at the moment, it's just attached with an elastic band uh, because we didn't want to make it a permanent feature. But that's fine, as long as it's safe and secure, it'll have no problem. We're using the modified Mobius camera which is in a GoPro form box, and you can buy these from uh, Banggood or Gearbest, um, and the Mobius themselves, we, we love the Mobius camera, we think it's a great little camera. When we take a look at a side view, you get a better idea of what we've actually done. So there is a plate with suspension balls, which uh, is standard for the unit. Uh, there is the controller here, which is the actual unit that basically works out the uh, the gyro and uh, how much input it has to give to the motors to keep it straight and on the steady. But you'll also see over here that we have power coming out and we've made our own loom. Turning the craft over to the other side, you'll see now we've got our own loom here with electrical tape, but this cable here is just the video out for our FPV. So we'll ignore that one for now. And over here, you'll see we've got a yellow cable coming from the back of the controller. Now, if you look closely, you'll see the word PIT, roll and aux. And you'll also notice that we've only got one wire coming from our servo connector or our servo cable. Now, that's all you need for this unit is actually one wire, which is the pitch wire. You don't need the roll because you don't want it to roll. You want that to actually be a locked situation that the controller manages itself. Now the standard Delta drone actually has two sockets, as you can see, the red one for power and the black one with the three holes for signal to the gimbal controller for the pitch off the radio. What we've done is we've created our own plugs. So the red one is 12 volt power or 11.1 .1 off the battery. And we've also got a modified servo connector cable, which has the one wire only, which is all we actually need, which is the yellow there, going back to our controller. So when we plug those in, so we'll take our servo connector here, and plug that into there. And we'll plug our power into the other side and plug that straight into there. It's a simulation of what would be with the gimbal that comes from Kaiser Bass. It's exactly the same, power and signal. And you can see over here, we've got the signal wire going in and we just have the power going into the side of the gimbal controller. Now, one thing that's really important to note is that the gimbal from Walkira, the G2D, actually is too low for the legs. And so in the end, it actually hits the uh, bottom uh, of where the drone is sitting. So the best option is to actually have it facing upwards when you're actually working on it. So we're gonna plug the battery in and show you what happens as soon as we connect up power to our gimbal modification. There you go, it's just righted itself. It's worked out where it is. I've got control of the gimbal. And 
and voila. So there you have it, not much to it at all. Two wires, very simple. Just make sure you have the correct configuration as shown in this video and you'll have no problems. In fact, any gimbal that is a 2D gimbal that has 12 volts of power or up to 12 volts of power and just requires the one signal lead, which most of them do for pitch control, and you're up and running. So get yourself out there, grab a gimbal, put it onto your Delta drone and get flying and enjoy your flight. This is Luke Raisbeck from Real Reviews Australia and we'll talk to you soon.